Yeah, luckily for me, the police in the area know who I am, so they don't have to worry about saying, hey man, this dude got nothing but sports cars and Jeeps and big trucks and all this in his yard. Is, is this dude selling dope? <laughs> The police know me. They say, hey, man, this dude, he's a mechanic. He he loves cars, and he's just a driver. That's all. He, he's one of them dudes that go around driving ride share. That's why he's buying all of these cars, man. Don't don't bother him. Don't stop him. He ain't got no money. He broke like everybody else. He just likes to buy cars and shit. But, yep, this is that little white Beamer right here. That thing is clean. It's a 2011. It's got 141,000 miles on it. That's a 2019, and it's got... 115,000 that Jeep's a 2011 with 258,000 so this car has probably got less miles on it than everything else out here as far as being used goes but it's a beautiful car though that thing is clean I actually drove it today I was out cruising in this thing today man it's nice it's nice I don't know man I've been I've been watching YouTube and there's a kid out there named one stock f30 or something like that and he died in one of these beamers so I'm kind of leery about making that Beamer my son's first car. You know what I'm saying? I I love that kid, but it might have to be a car that I end up selling to somebody and get him something that's a little bit slower because this car is pretty damn fast. And you can hear one of my neighbors that started up their little race car too. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting in the garage working today and my man Lawrence hit me up. Now he drives a lift black, black SUV. He's got a Mercedes truck. So he hits me up. He goes, man, check this shit out. He's like, I just opened up my Lyft account. I, he haven't driven since like August. And it's like November now, almost December. He hasn't driven since August. He said, man, I opened up my Lyft account and somebody added a damn Yukon on my account. Out in Washington. So they're out in Washington. Somebody hacked into his account. I think it's an inside job. It's got to be somebody at Lyft. Because who has the information to hack into his account, add a vehicle to it. The vehicle doesn't have his name. His insurance, nothing on it. So who would even allow that? Because Lyft would be like, uh, the insurance doesn't match your name and your account information. Like your name is Lawrence, but his insurance says, you know, Jack or Sarah. It doesn't say, so whose car is this and whose insurance is this? Because it all has to match your account. But somebody added a Yukon to his account. So he's like, can you please remove this uh, Yukon or whatever? They're like, oh, we're sorry. We'll remove it immediately. No investigation. No, well, we don't know how it got on there. Let us look into how it got on there. Nothing like that. They know what's going on with these accounts. Like, how are they adding cars onto driver's accounts? Because they're waiting for the account to be dormant. That's what I think. Because he hasn't used his account since August. So the account is dormant. Somebody at Lyft added a car to it, just like my homegirl Donna. She said somebody cashed out her money. She went to go cash out $300 and it was gone. She hit Lyft up, said, hey, I'm going to go cash out, and all my money's gone. What's going on? Lyft's like, oh, we're sorry about that. We'll fix it for you. No investigation whatsoever. They just said, we're sorry, gave her the $300 back. Usually people be like, are you sure you didn't cash it out? You sure this is not your car? You sure? No questions whatsoever. So this is the second person I know that's had an issue with their Lyft account, and Lyft never questioned it when they told Lyft to fix it. Y'all might want to start checking your accounts. Look on your Uber, look on your Lyft, look at the vehicles, make sure somebody didn't add it on there. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be a scammer or a hacker. It's probably somebody at the app doing some little finagling and shit with the money. Probably saying, oh yeah, well we're going to allow him to, to get paid on that car too. But we got another card attached to that car. I don't know how they're doing it, but I just know it's some shady shit going on. I can't wait to show you guys how the concert was going. I'm actually standing on my Jeep and... This is the entrance to it over here where all the cars are coming through and everybody's going to come walking from where all those people are coming from down there. There's people walking from all the way back there to the left of the screen. That damn charter bus stops right in the way. Yeah, but ride share, these are all the cars that are ride share that are waiting. They go all the way down that way. All of those are ride share cars, all of them. And then <laughs> they go all the way down that way all ride share it's crazy and most of the black suvs was usually parked right up here in the front right there i'm actually sitting in the back but there's a few cars behind me too like there's a couple behind me but not a whole lot but those are people that parked here all those are ride share all the way down there ride share all the way down that way here's a ride share driver backing in here 
like I said, they got more charter buses about to pull in. All those cars trying to come in over there are all ride share. These people are directing and telling people, hey, if you're ride share, you got to go all the way down. But this is what these idiots do. They just stop right there. You can't stop there. You got to go all the way down. Like all of these cars are stopped. They shouldn't be stopped. They have to come down and circle around and come to where I am on this side of the uh, tape. They parked on the wrong side of the tape. Last night, they didn't let nobody park there. Tonight, everybody parked there because they just got tired of people parking there. People wasn't listening. You got to come on the back side of the tape, back where we're sitting. Like that Russia driver, he's in the right space. Everybody behind me, everybody back here are all in the right space. But the idiots, they pull up and just stop right there. And that's where you have to drive through. You drive through and you come all the way around to where I am. But as you can see, you got more cars coming through. You got some taxis cruising through right here. Come on, girls, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Everybody looking cold as hell. I'm waiting on my girls to come down. Yeah, look at that big ass. Look at that car. He, he was looking for something else. He's like, oh shit. He is trying to turn that whole damn fifth wheel. That is nuts. He made it though. He whipped it around that. He did a U-turn in that thing. That's crazy. But everybody's coming from down that walkway all the way there past that you see that silver silo right there on the left of the screen it's even way past there all the way back here where these lights are all the way back there there will be people walking that whole way you see all these people walking they got a huge walk usually we get to drive down that street but they didn't let us drive down that street so this is where we're all sitting right now but yep this is everybody and I don't see anybody down here from Hum. I haven't seen a Hum decal on a car or nothing like that. But if you want to get private rides, like I said, just walk up and start chatting with people because these are all the people standing around waiting on rides. All of these people. Everybody's standing around just waiting on rides right now. It's actually kind of chilly out here too. But everybody up here, that's that big Fetty bus. Yeah, everybody up here is waiting on rides. And last night I parked over... I parked where that black truck is, right there, that blue truck rather, probably about four cars down from there. I parked right there, and my people walked right through the <laughs> fence, and I, I high beamed them a couple of times, and they came and jumped right in the truck. But I didn't want to drive over here because this is the shit. It's like gravel and dirt and mud and shit was all down here because, I mean, you could see, like, all that gravel and mud and shit. Hold up. I mean, it was all back here, and it was like people were just kicking up dust and rocks and everything else so i chose tonight to drive the jeep i said no nah, i'm driving my jeep down there but yeah this is everybody come walking in right here come on people come on it's getting kind of chilly yeah but this is what i drove tonight the big jeep i'm like hey forget that shit so i'm not putting my truck back through this again Cause that's what I did last night. My wheels were all nasty and dirty and I had to go pick up other people. I was mad as hell. I was like, man, I had to stop and actually clean my car down. Yeah, so there's everybody over there. My people, they should be texting me. It's like only 11, 11.30 right now. They should be texting me pretty soon, but hopefully we'll see. We will see. But this is the big rave down here where everybody's like, hey, should I go down there? It's money, man, it's money. Okay, I had to move, so now I'm closer to the very front now, so when my people come out, they can see the front of the Jeep. I'm gonna put the big spotlights on, but you can see all these people just sitting on the curb, waiting on rides and everything. People are still walking out. Then you got these groups over here. You know, everybody's just kind of hanging out, waiting. But, yep, this is, this is rave night right here, so it'll be a lot of people out here all night. And like I said, it's only midnight. It'll be people out here till almost four in the morning. I was getting pings last night, almost four o'clock in the morning from restaurants around here, like Waffle House, because people were just going to the Waffle House and eating. And then they were like, okay, since I can't get home, shit. I'm gonna, you know, get a ride later when it's a little bit cheaper. But yeah. But yeah, this is this is where they come to they when they come down to the raves, man, it gets crazy down here. Like I said, you can still see all the people walking down this this path here. They'll all be coming down this pathway, filling up this lot here. And like I said, I'm in the front row. I'm As soon as they walk in, they'll see my Jeep sitting right here. I'm going to put the big uh, spotlights on. They're going to be like, oh, we see you. <laughs> I was like, all right, let's do it. And these are all rideshare drivers coming down the street. Everybody's got to come in one way. 
So all the way down the street, these are all drivers coming in through that way. But I see some cars way, way over there too. I wonder how did they get over there? Like all the way past there? Cause they wouldn't let, all oh, those are people that just parked over there. Cause those police lights over there, you see those police lights, they won't let no ride share over there. I tried last night, they was like, nope. It was like, turn around, turn around. I was like, all right, whatever, man, whatever. But yeah, this is everybody out here waiting on rides right now. This will be pretty quick, pretty quick. Uh oh, so cool, there you go. He's picking up his rides right there. There's a guy, he's got, like I said, that's a white minivan with the big taxi sign on top of it. So he's picking up his people right here, front row. Smart, smart way to go, brother, smart way to go. But, oh, look at that. They got a Model X or a Model Y. What is that? Yeah, check that out, a Model Y. That's sick. <laughs> they pulled up in that shit. Check that out. It was like, hey, we'll pick you up. Yeah, that shit is sick. I know y'all looking at that girl booty in front, huh? Quit looking at that girl booty. Stop looking at her booty. Leave her alone. She just she just came having a good time. Y'all want to look at her booty on the camera. Leave her alone. <laughs> like shit. But yeah, these these raids, man, they get out of hand. And some of these girls dress like they they've been saving all year. They walk down here in like lingerie. They don't even be wearing clothes. They just come out here in lingerie, like panties and a bra. I'm like, that ain't clothes. But it's kind of chilly out tonight, so everybody's got on jackets and everything. But yeah, this is. It's about to get pretty wild. Uh-oh. I can see all the way down the street. I see all the rideshare drivers coming all the way down the street from way down there. This dude's walking up. But, yeah, everybody's pulling in right now. This is about to get fun. About to get fun. Look at all of those cars all the way down the street. Holy crap. Yeah, my girl, she's almost here. She said the other girl's canceled on her, so she's by herself. But look all the way down the street, and they're still coming around the corner. All cars. And these people here, like, they're, they're trying. They don't know what to do. Everybody's just so stuck right now. They have no idea what to do. The big Fetty trucks are coming in. You still got gangs of people walking down the street. Man, it is so many people out here. Yeah, I'm going to be hopping the curb. I'm glad I brought the Jeep because I'm about to hop the curb. I'm not going through this craziness. This is insane right here. Look at all these cars. Man. Yeah, I'm glad I came early when I did. Because last night it was worse than this. And this is pretty bad. Like, jeez. Yep. Man, this is crazy. Look at all these people. Man, nothing but cash rides out here. All cash rides. They're going to get tired of waiting. Be like, okay. All right, man, I'll do it, man. 70 bucks, let's go. <laughs> In my private ride for the night, went home, swapped cars, hung out with the dogs for a minute. Now I'm downtown Tempe. I got a um I got black on right now. Let me turn it on regular rides. Show you guys what kind of trash they sending me. Six percent. Now I'll go downtown for 25 bucks. Look at that. Where is that up to? Almost up to Scottsdale. Seven dollars. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. I'll go downtown for 25, Scottsdale for 20. I'll go up to Scottsdale for 20 bucks, not for seven, not for nine dollars. That's going up to Scottsdale for nine dollars. I wouldn't do that. I'll do it for 20, and that's taking a group of people. Now, I'm guaranteeing the fact that I'm sitting in the 6% zone and I'm taking a group of people, they probably paid about $35 for that ride, and I'm getting ten dollars. Look at that, four bucks for that. No, nah, they probably paid about fifteen dollars for that ride. I'm cool on that. Like, give me anything like twenty, twenty-five dollars, and not that far, man. Look at that. That's that's south of the two hundred two. That is so far south. That's crazy. Nah, nah, I'm cool on that shit. That's south of the two hundred two, and that's even that's like almost going to the concert where I was at tonight, where I charged like seventy bucks. But she didn't pay me seventy. She paid me forty-five because I gave her a discount or a deal. Damn, that's going all the way up to Scottsdale to pick up somebody, then taking them all the way downtown. Nah. But I got down there, and two of the girls didn't want to go. They wanted to go to the after party, so they went to the after party. She just went home, which was literally five bucks for... No, nah, I'm cool on that shit. So she went home, which was literally right down the 202. So I was like, hold up. No, nah, man, these, these rides are trash. I might just go. I don't even know why I came back out on this Saturday night. So I instead of 70 bucks, I charged her 40. I was like, I just don't feel right charging you that much. You know what, 70 bucks. Cause she gave me 35 earlier. To It was half of the seven. She gave me 35 earlier because the girls were all coming. Nah, 
these are trash rods. Look at that. And that's a group. That's a group. And they're probably paying at least, you know, $50 for that. So if the girls didn't want to come, so I was like, I can't charge you 70 bucks for that. So I went on ahead and I told her, I said, you know, just give me $10 more. I said, it'll, it'll be $45. Because they were charging probably, you know, 50, 60 bucks for people to get out of that concert. So I gave her a discount. Yeah, I mean, she's used me before. We, I've done rides for her and her group before, so it was pretty good. That's about $2 a mile. I don't feel like doing that. No. So I was like, that's cool. That's cool. So I did that for her and everything. Like I said, she's a, a lady who I'll probably be using again for other concerts and stuff like that. So I really don't mind giving people a discount. I mean, it was a $70 ride. I cut it all the way down. Look at that, $13. Man, they can find somebody up there. Man, they crazy. Had me drive way up there to drive somebody a mile. Let's a driver up there. And so she'll use me again. She's used me before. And I like to give people discounts and deals. $18 for about 11 miles. Man, I might just go home. I'm, I should have just did that one private ride and stayed home with the dogs, man. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. We're at $21 to go south. Nah, I'm cool. Because I'm almost by my house anyway. So I don't really want to leave too far. Like I'll I'll do something if it's going towards my house I'll take it if it goes downtown for twenty five dollars I'll take it that shit I won't take it look at that seven bucks almost for like four miles nah and that's going up to Scottsdale I'll go up to Scottsdale for twenty five dollars but I won't do it for that it's like nah I'm gonna have to put it on a uh, black SUV or something because I'm not I'm not about to sit up there and, and drive way up to Scottsdale for no seven dollars nine dollars when I do those routes for twenty five thirty dollars private. Four bucks. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. Fuck around, get stuck in traffic for that. Cause it ain't nothing but traffic up ahead of me. Cause I'm looking out the window right now and it's all traffic going down mill. So that's four dollars to sit through traffic. And that right there is twelve dollars. Man, I might just go home. This is this has turned out to be trash. Man, almost eight miles for twelve dollars. It's two o'clock in the morning right now, Saturday night. In the sixty percent bonus zone. Which means I should be getting, for every $10, I get an extra $6 for every $10. But it's not looking too good right now. I'm still coming out like a dollar a mile for these rides. Stuff like that is not even worth it. That ride is like a mile down the road, like dropping them off a mile, but it's not even worth it. Because I got to sit in all this traffic to get to them. See, if somebody's right behind me right there. No, nah, I'm not turning around. Nope, I'm cool on that shit. Because I got to work out of, out of the parking lot to go backwards behind me to pick that person up. I'm not doing that. Y'all might just call it good tonight, man. This is nothing. This is just trash. $5 rides and shit. No. $5 rides, 2 o'clock in the morning. No. I need to wear a motherfucking shirt that says, no. <laughs> just N-A-W. No. $8 for that. No. Sorry, Tegan. If you was going towards my house, I'd do it. But you're going the opposite direction. No. Oh, 70%. We going up. We might, we might get to 100% tonight. Might get to 100%. No, oh, let me turn it on black SUV. I don't want no more rides coming through for a while. Whoops. $4 for that. Nope. I'm about to turn it on black SUV because they the 70% bonus is not really doing nothing anyway, so it don't make a difference. I'm just getting that shit out of here. So, yeah. And we'll just hang out and see what goes on. Turn my car off real quick, sit here and relax. Oh, undo my seatbelt. See if they send me a black SUV. In the meantime, I'm about to go listen to me some podcasts, probably some music or something like that because I'm not going to sit and watch no dark screen. No. <laughs> the ride I ended up settling for right here it was a little quick two mile ride. It was for $14 right down the street. So I did that. And he said the guy tipped me $2. I think he tipped me like 20 bucks. Real talk. Okay, it's like Sunday night. I'm about to head over, pick up my clients from the airport. But I'm cleaning the truck off and I see a delivery driver, you know, drop off some food at one of my neighbor's house. I don't know if it was DoorDash, Uber Eats, whatever. I don't know. But the person gets out the car, shorts on, because I'm just kind of looking. You know, we check out, make sure you know everything in our neighborhood is on the up and up. Gets out, flip-flops on, feet just hanging out. Pair of shorts on and a hoodie, like a zip-up hoodie. Go walking around, you know, take a picture of the food, get back in the car, drive off. I'm thinking the whole time, 
is that the type of people that are delivering our food now? I mean, this person was not dressed like they were trying to, to work. It's like they were probably out running an errand and decided, hey, I'm going to do a delivery while I'm out running an errand. Who delivers food with open-toed shoes on, like dusty-ass flip-flops? That's just something you don't do, man. It's just, I don't know. It's like if you went to a kitchen, if you went to go eat at a restaurant, you wear closed-toed shoes or something like that. You don't be out in house shoes and flip-flops and dirty-ass clothes and shit dropping off people's food. People got to eat this stuff. And I'm looking at this delivery driver like, and, and the car was decent. It wasn't like ride share ready, but it was a decent car. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a piece of shit, but you can tell it was an older car. So I know this person is doing this probably, you know, just to make a little extra cash on the side. It, it can't be their main job. And I'm like, this is why the, the ride share companies and all these apps don't think we're worth $50 an hour, $60, $70 an hour. Because they probably see people like this out delivering and probably like, you know what, man, you putting about $15 worth of effort into this job. We're going to pay you like $15 an hour. You get employee rates. The way that I work, like I said, I'm running 100 bucks an hour some days, 50 bucks, 70 bucks an hour, $200 an hour some days. When you put the effort into this business and you put the effort into your craft, into your vehicle, into your clothes. Like I said, right now I'm wearing all black. I'm black all the way down. Even the shoes is black. I'm all black, black hat. Because when I show up, you know, I'm driver material. I know people say, well, why don't you wear, you know, a, a button down? I do that in the daytime. When I'm out at nighttime, I got to go to stores and shit like that. I want people to feel safe. They see that I'm a driver when I walk in the store. I don't look like a criminal in all black coming to do some shady shit. So I wear all black at night, but I let people know I am a driver. I'm safe. Don't worry about it. But for the most part, all my craft, all my gear is thought out, very well thought out. And I don't just aimlessly be driving around in flip-flops, ragged-ass shoes, a dirty car and everything. Talking about something, I'm worth $100,000 a year. I should be making two Gs a week. If you're not putting money into your effort and your craft, you shouldn't be making that much. Nah. You should be getting exactly what they're giving you until you start seeing yourself as something to invest in. Level yourself up. Level your game up. A lot of drivers out there are leveling themselves up. A lot of even delivery drivers I see out there, they're going an extra mile to make sure they shower before they start working. They're wearing closed toe shoes. They're wearing, you know, clean clothes. They clean their car before they even go drive. I see delivery drivers doing that. What I saw tonight, I was like, wow. Like I said, this person looked like they was just about to go run an errand to Walmart and decided just to go pick up an order. Just sad, sad. This is Mark Murray, no relationship to Keith. See, Keith had the A in his name. This Murray E. You asking who am I? Well, it don't make a difference. I was a career accountant, now I Uber and I'm lifting. That's how I run my business. I chase off all these pigeons. I don't like a YouTube man. Well, good riddance. And I ain't bullshit. I don't do this for fame. I do this for the people out there finding hard to explain how to break a transmission in half and thermostats and brake pads with rotors on the front and the back. How we boy to get jacked while we stacking these racks if we choose to do the service letting people in back now we all be making profits we invest for returns see this biz ain't for the timid so it's best to learn from the guru the new school is so cool i'm old school these pro tools that pro use i'm about to show you i flow through these beats like a breeze in july i was fly when i was corporate in suits and a tie got no reason to lie so i can tell you what's up if you was flying in through Phoenix, you can kick it with us, and you can trust, you gon' make it any way that you can. I'm the man to sit you down, and I'ma show you the plan, and then I'm shaking your hand before we closing the deal. A 300, best believe we keeping it real, Marcus Murray.